lot of times when you get the flyovers, it's just a surprise and you're not really expecting it. I try to find out when we're having those flyovers because if you don't know, they can scare the hell out of you. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in a Country. I have an off-road series that every once in a blue moon, uh, a video just strikes me. I get inspired to do it. And this is that. And so, of course, I'm representing, I wear the shirt quite a bit anyway. It's one of my favorite shirts. But this is the flyover, America's greatest pregame tradition. And I saw this a while ago, and it's just been on my mind. It's like you've seen me do the SR-71 Blackbird, like videos about that. And it's just so badass, so inspiring. It's not music. It's music in its own right. But anyhow, I love doing these things just as an added part to the channel. So let's do this one. All right, here we go. Five seconds now. When it comes to the, the pregame flyovers, that is something that you can see it a hundred times, and the hundredth time you see it, it's impressive. That's well put. Get you amped up. The sheer beauty of it and the extreme power of these things flying by and the precision. There's a bomber. Ah, look at the picture of that thing. Perhaps the most impressive moment of the NFL pregame pageantry is the shock and awe of the flyover. My favorite part of the game is when the Jets fly over the stadium. I think they should do that before every game because it just <laughs> signifies where you are and you're in the big leagues and you're about to, the game's about to start. I love all flyovers. I don't care. Piper Cubs in formation, helicopters, yeah. crop dusters. If it's a flyover, by God, what we're about to do is important. There's something about the size, uh, the sound. You can feel those jets going over the top. A lot of times when you get the flyovers, it's just a surprise, and you're not really expecting it. I try to find out when we're having those flyovers, because if you don't know, they can scare the hell out of you. <laughs> Those big helicopter ones, you know, the big like, chuka 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 chuka, like they're really loud and they feel like they're ten feet above you. Like, I love those. Yeah. The flyover could be the most exciting five seconds in football. In a game known for its complex passing patterns and crossing routes, it only makes sense that a good flyover can give inspiration. Yeah, there are flyovers and then there are different flyovers. Yeah. I can remember being in Kansas City and Derek Thomas, whose uh, dad died in Vietnam, and the flyover was always special to him. Whenever we'd have one, you could almost say, hey, Derek's going to have a big game today. A precise flyover is much like a fine-tuned offense in that it requires perfect timing and a solid game plan. Okay, mission objectives uh, for the day is an exact TOT over the center of Soldier's Field at Zulu time 21, 37, and 40. Wait, what is TOT? Time of, what does that last T stand for? You Air Force folks and, well, the Army will know about this. 40 seconds. This is the stadium itself. Okay, this half loop looking thing. So the things that are biggest factor for us is this building will be uh, well above this building. You'll notice on the drive-in today this building has a crane on the top. Okay, we should be offset to the right and that should not be a factor. You can see off in the distance, okay, Lake Point Tower is probably our biggest threat. Anything that's a factor for the flight, call it out, whether it's a tower, birds, other airplanes, tall buildings, you name it. Gonna fly right over the southern end zone, right 
worked uh, over the top of the, uh, the goal post and pressing straight out here with a right turn out uh, over the lake. While the Panthers are set to play the Bears, the flyover crew is busy making their last second adjustments. We're trying to make a time on target so that they fly over at the last note of the national anthem. Okay, everybody ready for rollover? Okay, battle flight, run them up. In a post-9-11 world, a flyover yeah. can mean more than the beginning of a football game. A flyover can symbolize pride in a nation or a rallying call from tragedy. Right after September 11th, the Giants were coming in to uh, in the Arrowhead. It was very emotional just because of the time and then we had to, we had to fly over. It just, I don't know if there was a dry eye in the air. There's something about a flyover that is just unbelievable. I got the anthem is now. ending. It's hitting that beautiful crescendo. Plane comes over, and that's America. If you're around the world and you're watching that, I think you go, you know what? I get it. America's pretty yep. cool. Yep. I mean, we don't just protect america there are other countries that we we protect as well they would have been invaded had it not been for the u.s's alliance or friendship relationship with that country and i you know i've been to see the blue angels a couple times and they do man you get scared because they do these things where like they'll have like one you know jet and f whatever going this way and you're just watching it and then something comes another one comes up from behind at like twice its speed and they don't tell you it's coming and you're just like oh my god just the raw power in your chest cavity and in your brain and the flyovers i've only been to one college football game in which there was a flyover and it was awesome i've been to some where there were helicopters and those things are powerful but anyway, man, what an inspirational thing. But when they just go, it's just, I don't know, it's freedom in ways. That's what it says to me. So hope you enjoyed that, folks. How cool is that? Departure from today's normal videos, but well worth it in the opinion of moi. Have a great day, folks. See you on another video. Keep rocking a country, whatever country you may be in.